G'day boys and girls. Today we've got a special speaker with us. His name is Jungle Brad. I hope you enjoy it. G'day boys and girls, it's me, Jungle Brad, and here I am in the jungle. You know, it's been very dry in these parts recent, until recently when we had some rainfall. And now look how green it is. The regrowth has just been fantastic. Let's have a look at some of it. Look at that, fruits of the forest. Check out this orange fungus that grows on dead wood when it rains. Look at that, beautiful. Check out these mushrooms. They basically came up overnight when the rains came. This one's looking a bit worse for wear. You can see some snails have gotten in and had a bit of dinner. Some of these plants have just been waiting to get enough moisture in the soil so they can just grow. Some of these plants have come out in flower. Look at this little guy here. He's just loving it. You can see him breathing on the side of his body. He's having a good look around, isn't he? You see, since the rains have come, this whole area has been blanketed by this beautiful fern. And this is the type of fern which uh, some people have in their gardens. And this whole area looks absolutely spectacular. Look at that, gorgeous. You see, plants need a few things to survive. The first thing they need is sunlight. That's how they get their energy through photosynthesis. Sunlight is very important. If they don't get enough sunlight, plants just won't grow. Secondly, they need soil and they need nutrients in the soil. They can't have soil that's just rocky or too sandy with no actual minerals in it. They need some decent soil that they can put their roots into and grow. And thirdly, which has been lacking in this area until recently, they need water. Water is so important. And when they get that combination of sunlight, good soil and water, it's amazing what they'll do. You see this plant here is down near the water and it's getting some moisture through the soil. It's got long green leaves and you can see here, it's already gone to seed. And these seeds here are on a long stalk and eventually when they dry out and the wind blows, they get dispersed. And because it's on such a long stalk, it'll actually spread out a little bit so it won't be growing right next to the, the mother plant and those seeds will hopefully grow new plants of their own. The mozzies are shocking. Okay, what have we got over here? Let's have a look. So this little guy set him up down by the water's edge and it's a, it's a spider. And you can't quite see at the moment, but there's a spider wrapped up in that gum leaf. And he's put himself in a strategic position, hoping to get maybe a mosquito or some little insect flying past who have come who's come down to get a drink or to see what they can catch down at the water's edge. And this little guy is probably doing quite well for himself because uh, he's got a great spot, fairly protected from the wind down here. So that water source there would bring moisture to the soil all around here that the plants would rely on for their own moisture. And it would also bring habitat for water micro invertebrates and invertebrates, which would come and live there. And that would in itself attract other creatures which would uh, live on them and rely on them for their food. You know, we also need a few things in our relationship with God. One of the things that it needs is we need to understand a bit about God. We need some knowledge about him. But knowledge isn't everything because we also need some experience. We need some time worshipping God, our creator. And uh, we need to make time in our week for, for worship. And we can do that a few different ways. One of the ways is singing songs to God and hymns of praise to God. And when we sing worship songs to God, we acknowledge him as our creator, as our God, as our king. And he is sovereign and he's the one who we're following. And thirdly, we also need to communicate with God. How do we communicate with God? Well, we need to read the Bible and spend time learning Bible stories and, and how they might apply in our lives. And also we need some time praying to God, spending time talking to him, giving our worries over to him, talking to him about the decisions that we have to make. He is interested and he wants to be involved in all the different parts of our life. Look at this big eucalyptus tree. And this large mass on the side of the tree is called an epicormic growth. And that there will have different, lots of uh, little nodes in it. And if there's a bushfire that comes through here, 
those nodes could potentially sprout if all of the leaves have been burnt off and, and it could put out some new branches pretty quickly from that large mass on the side of the tree. You know, someone in the Bible who spent a lot of time with God was a man named Enoch. And it tells his story in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 21. It says here, When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. And after he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked with God 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enoch lived 365 years. Enoch walked with God, then he was no more because God took him away. What an amazing thing. Enoch spent so much time with God and then God just took him up to heaven. An amazing thing. They must have been great friends spending all of that time together. It makes me want to spend more time with God reading about the story of Enoch. Okay, so our Bible verse for today is found in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 15. It says here, Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that confess his name, God wants us to spend time with him. He wants us to be continually praising him. He wants us to be talking to him, reading the Bible, thinking about how good he is and, and involving him in the decisions that we make every day. God is wanting to be involved in our lives because he loves us and he wants the very best for us. Let's have a prayer right now about this. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just ask that you'd help us to spend time with you. Lord, we ask that you would help us in our relationship with you um, to not only learn about you and to believe that you exist, but also to spend time worshipping you and to spend time reading the Bible and learning Bible stories and applying them to our lives. Help us to pray to you, Lord, and take our worries and concerns to you. We thank you, Lord, that you are a God who hears and you care about what's going on in our lives. We pray these things in the wonderful name of Jesus, our Saviour and best friend. Amen. Well, that's it today, boys and girls. My name's Jungle Brad, and we'll see you next time. See you later.